Salesforce packages. Here's a Salesforce package. Let's learn how this package gets created, presented, and delivered in your org. We'll cover three things in this presentation. First, let's understand what is a package? What can be classified as a package? What types of packages are there? And third, we'll do some class work together. The most exciting part of the presentation is classwork and the most productive part. So hang on, we'll get to the very end and to awesome stuff. Okay, what is a package? Basically, it's a container for something as small as an individual component, like an object or a, or a field, or a custom field on, say, account, or something as large as a set of related apps, like an accounting app. This set of components can function together as an app, or it can be just a certain piece of functionality, like a field holding, storing certain information. After you create a package, you can distribute it to any Salesforce user using a link. And there are two types of packages that can be distributed. One is an unmanaged package, and the second is a managed package. What do you think is the difference between the two? What's the fundamental difference between the two? And we will cover that very soon. First, let's look at how packages make their way to clients. There is a production phase where developers prepare, code, test the components of the package. Then these components are put together like a TV in a box. This is the packaging phase. In the third phase, this package is presented in the store, which in our case is the App Exchange. So the package is just uploaded to App Exchange. Clients download the package from App Exchange using a link into their home org. And now the package is in their house or in the org. So this is basically how a package makes its way to a client's org. This is another way to look at the entire process. So in the first phase is development. In the second phase, the components of the package are getting packaged. It goes to the app exchange listing and the client installs. Once the app is installed, the creator of the managed package manage the number of licenses it has through a license management app. So let's look at unmanaged package. What is an unmanaged package? The defining feature of an unmanaged package is that it is open source. What does that mean? It means that components can be edited in the organization that they're installed. The developer organization who created the unmanaged package has no control over the installed components. Therefore, Therefore, they cannot control the number of licenses that the package provides, or they cannot push upgrades. The source code can be fully viewed and edited by anyone who installed the package. That means the Visual Force page code, the Apex code can be fully viewed and edited. Updates, fixes are the responsibility of the installer. And let's look at some examples of unmanaged package on App Exchange. So here's the package called Innovation Hub. It's by Salesforce Labs. Let's, let's install it. Here let's just say until for admins, doesn't really matter what you choose. Here we see that the package is by Salesforce. And here if we click this, we can see the components of the package that we are installing. So it has 13 objects and 34 resources. And these are static resources, page layouts, record types, list view, etc. And there are pages which are like lightning pages, visual force pages. And this innovation app, innovation hub app has four apps: branding set, lightning community template, app, commun has five tabs and some fields. Okay, it says the app cannot be installed. 
your org doesn't have access to component what does this mean community logo to let's google for this error and see what it means Okay, look, it might be that I need to sub submit a support case to enable this feature. Okay, let's install a different package. I want to find apps by Salesforce Labs. Okay, here we go, Salesforce Labs. As you can see, a lot of them have very few stars. That's because the apps are free. There might be bugs, there might be lack of documentation. There is lack of customer support, so the people who install them are unhappy. But that's what they should expect of free stuff. So this is the name of the app, SalesCat. By Salesforce version 17. Basically, this is an app that hasn't been updated since summer 2017. And there are some release notes. Let's take a look. Looks like there are no release notes. It's an empty release note. Alright, let's check the components. Okay, reports. And a custom object, a workflow, a flow, a page, a lighting page, and some custom fields. Okay, that's it. Okay, it looks like this package will install. And let's take a look at it. Install cat. Here's sales cat competitive analysis tool. So here are the components of the package we just installed. It was a, it's an unmanaged package, and we can see that has there's a custom field. If we open it, I can click edit, and I can I can change the name of the field. I can change the API name of the field. I can change the description. I can change everything regarding this field. If there were Apex classes. I would be able to change the code. If it was Visual Force page, I would be able to edit the code. So basically, it's open source. That's the defining feature of a man managed package. We just installed an app exchange product and we saw that the components, everything in the app managed package is editable by us. So that's the positive side for, for the client. But the negative side, as I informed you, is that there is no customer support. That's why a lot of the reviews on the these free App exchange products it is very bad. So what's a managed package? So while unmanaged package is the wild wild west, it's the open source managed package is control. It's used by Salesforce partners to distribute sale applications. And managed packages are fully upgraded, upgradable. That means if you install my pa managed package and I make a certain upgrade after three months, after six months. I'd be able to push these upgrades to your work even without your consent. Unless you opt out of the upgrades, I can keep upgrading my app that you've installed. However, although I can update the app, certain destructive changes like removing objects or, field or fields cannot be done because the client might have stored information there. For this reason, Salesforce does not allow certain destructive changes. So just to reiterate, managed packages offer these benefits to vendors. There is intellectual property protection for Apex. What does this mean? This means that the Apex classes are not visible. They cannot see what's inside the Apex class. The vendors can seamlessly push patch upgrades to subscribers. And all the components have unique naming. So the names of the objects, the fields, the visual force pages, everything gets a namespace prefix. Okay, let's look at an, an org that has a managed package, okay? 
So here I have a managed package from Accounting Seed Financial Suite and we can see that the status is expired. That means I have not renewed this package. It expired on October 30. So in order to make this active, I need to contact Accounting Seeds custom support that they extend my subscription for which they will probably ask me for to make a payment. Here we can see that it's a managed package. Accounting seed allows two licenses. I've only used one. And here are release notes. Here are some post install instructions. So this is very good information for for example setting up some trial data core information so that I just can see how this app works. Here I can see the version name. Here's the namespace prefix. This ensures that the components of the package are unique. All right, let's look at the components. In the components, let's look at some Apex class. For example, it's this Apex class. We can only see that this class is private and the name. And there is no information about the code. Okay, let's also look at a certain field. So here's a custom field on this object. If I open it, can I edit it? No, see, it's grayed out. That means I cannot edit the field label or the API name. It's all locked down. So that, that's the defining feature of managed package. It's a very controlled environment, a very controlled code. It protects the intellectual property of the vendor. Okay, let's summarize what we have learned together. Unmanaged package. Does the client have access to the source code? Of course they have access to the source code. I was just... In a, in a managed package, the client does not have, right? That's what we just saw with the accounting seed package. In an unmanaged package, can the vendor push upgrades? No. In a man, man, managed package, does the vendor provide the maintenance support? No. Is there a license management app for an unmanaged package? No. It's automatically unlimited number of licenses if you install an unmanaged package. That we, that's what we saw the, with the package from Salesforce Labs. Is there support line for an unmanaged package? No, there is no support. There is minimum documentation. Is the IT expertise necessary to maintain the code? Absolutely. Because there is no, if there is no support, you better know how to figure things out, how to fix things. Are unmanaged packages for common use? Very unlikely. So that's why I put I put no. Regular people, common people, I don't think should be using unmanaged packages. Okay, let's look at managed packages. Source code access? No. Upgrades? Yes. Maintenance support? Yes. App vendors of managed packages, they release upgrades roughly three times a year. So there is maintenance support. There, is, there are improvements happening all the time. Is there license? Can the vendor control the number of licenses? Can the vendor control the number of users that have access to the managed package? Yes. Is there support for developers? Yes. Is IT expertise necessary to use the package? No. With support from the vendor, you can master the package. You can make become really good user. For common use, yes. So basically, this chart summarizes what we learned about packages. I told you that there are two types of packages, managed packages and unmanaged packages. But there is more. There are also two types of managed packages. One is the base managed package and then there is the extension package. What does that mean? 
So this is certain core functionality. For example, I was showing you the accounting seed financial suite. That's the core. That's bread and butter accounting software. Now, accounting seed also sells an extension package, which is an add-on, and that's called an extension package. Do you know of any extensions in the Salesforce world? So, so assume this is a vendor. They have a base package, then they have an extension package. Both of them, of course, are managed. Certain customer might only need the base. Another customer might need the base and the extension. And if you're asking me, is it possible to have the extension without the base? The answer is no. Anyone who wants the extension must have the base. All right, now let's create a package. And here's how you do it. Go to a certain org and set up put in package. Package manager. Then create new. and call it first package okay here on this page we need to add components to it I click add and here I can add apex classes apps buttons custom reports so a lot of things I can add So let me add this certain custom field on the account object. Okay. Let's also add an Apex class. Okay. As you can see, when I added the Apex class, a lot more things came over than just the Apex class itself. So I added the Apex class called Site Login Controller, but all this other stuff came in. That's because the Apex class is referencing the Visual Force page. One of the neat things of Salesforce is that if you bring in a certain component that has dependencies that references other components, all of them are automatically added. So let's just say we're ready. Let's click Upload. Let's call it, what's the date today? January 29, version number 1. No release notes, no post install subscriptions, and no password necessary to install the package. We can also enable certain requirements. For example, the org must have account teams, the, the org must have advanced currency management, etc. But there is no need for us to enable any of those. Let's just create the package, upload. Okay, okay, we cannot add the Apex code because we don't, there are no test classes for it. Let's, so let's go back and let's remove the Apex classes. Okay, I remove this one. So let's just include declarative stuff in the package so that we don't need to get code coverage. There is no time right now to write code. So there you go. Okay, so let's go back. So, as you can see, I removed the Apex class. Let's add something else. Let's an, add a custom object called IBT. Okay, I added the custom object. It has all these custom fields, list view, page layout. Okay, let's add it. Upload complete. Your package is now available for installing using the use URL below. And here's a URL. So if I gave this URL to anyone that can install this package that has these components. Hooray! We just created our first package.